What's up guys, Tabletop Icon here with another knife review. Today, we're looking at this beast of a knife. It's a K-Bar Warthog. As you can see, it's got a pretty nice sheath. It's one of those uh, leather-backed Cordura sheath with a dangler, triple riveted. Nice sheath, you know, like, I mean, some of these companies, uh, you get a you get a good knife like Ontario knives. They make awesome knives, but those nylon sheaths suck. But this one still has a decent sheath on it. Hopefully, they uh, stay with making a decent quality sheath. Anyway, the knife itself, as you can see, these newer warthogs are made in Taiwan. Super thick blade stock on that. I'll get the specs here in a minute. The video doesn't really do it justice. It's larger than you would think. It's uh, not a small knife. Um, the overall length of this knife is 12 and a quarter inches, as you can see. The blade width on this knife, I didn't measure it, <laughs> but it is probably more than two inches wide. It's a very wide blade. The blade length is 6.75 inches. Blade stock is a quarter inch thick. It's 1095 Crovan steel. I think that's K bars. I don't know if it's exclusive to K bar, but I know it's a steel they've used for a long time. Um, uh, the weight of this knife is one pound eight ounces. So that'll give you a little idea of how big the knife is it feels really good in your hands i got medium size hands and it feels good in my hands so if your hands are even larger than that it's going to feel really nice it is like i said a larger knife than you would expect i know when i when it came in the mail it was much larger than i thought it would be it's got these nice, this nice palm swell right here. It's like a rubberized, I think they, I don't know if it's K-Bar that calls them Craton or if it's cold steel. But it's got like this Craton handle. It's got a lanyard hole. I think it's full tang, but I'm not entirely sure. I couldn't see, I mean, anything I pulled on, pulled the specs and it didn't say anywhere usually k bars have those tapered tangs or those rat tail tangs or whatever you would like to call them this is super stout feels really good in your hands and uh i'm super happy i got it it might not be nothing i carry like for everyday carry but for camping i mean you could you know see the handle shape you could really get on the back end of this here and do some serious chopping with this i would imagine I haven't tried it out yet. I plan on trying it out soon. Nice, I don't know if you can see that. Nice stout tip. Super strong tip. If you see my uh, video on the last K-Bar, the Harpoon, I think it's the BK-16, I believe. Go check that out. And I also will have a link in the description in all my videos for every knife in here. So... If you're interested click the link it'll take you right to amazon and you can see the current pricing on amazon for this knife just a beautiful knife feels good in the hand super big like i could imagine the damage that that blade could do to something or someone um it's just a really really cool knife um i can't wait to get it out in the woods and chop with it um but that's the k-bar warthog go pick one up